Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of my vanilla Minecraft server. And you can see I've been a little bit busy between episodes here. Can you see it? Can you see it? Anyways, uh, yeah, I opted to just go ahead and go to the end. Do the end fight, get my ultra, go do some exploring. Um, I've also been busy working around here. First, the spoils. This isn't everything. I've done some combining, so I've now got uh, efficiency 5 mending and breaking 3 on my fortune pick. This says mending now. This says mending now. I uh, don't think that has mending. Uh, yeah, neither of those has mending. I meant to combine that, but I didn't. Also, this isn't near all the armor. Uh, I've combined some stuff. So I now have respiration 3 on my helmet. Along with mending on some of the armor. Uh, the only thing the boots need is uh, Feather Falling 4, but I don't think I can combine it at this point. And then uh, this is actually a chest directly from one of the uh, out of one of the chests. Also, I grabbed some ender chests, some dragon heads, several elytras. There were diamonds. Uh, quiet you. Uh, before I went to the end, I made an ender chest, and then also I had some diamonds, and then I threw the new diamonds in there. I was gonna put them in there, but I don't, I'm not sure how many of those diamonds came from the end. Uh, that's my original original chest piece, and uh, turn the sounds down. I turned them up because I was watching videos and wandering around and it's like uh I can't hear the game at all ah much better anyways but yeah that's my original chest and there were no axes so I only got my unbreaking three axe and of course the dragon egg we will need to solve the gunpowder issue eventually but not right now and then also I grabbed several shulker shells uh, I do have the command blocks on the server to where the shulkers drop two every time you kill one. Uh, it's at least two. Sometimes you get three, which is why 49. But I went and got a few stacks uh, of that as well. And that's, and obviously I've got one Elytra on me. And there were some books and stuff too, but I don't, I don't remember what all the books were or from where. Uh, but I did throw some books on some stuff too. Uh, like, I think the Sharpness 5 was a book as well. Um, also, in between episodes, I've done, I've done quite a bit of work here. Um, obviously the nether portal is significantly changed. I, I was looking at it, and I'm standing over here, and I was thinking, that is a very small nether portal for the size of the room. So I went and made it bigger. Also, I've got an upper portion and then the ceiling in for here. Um, I think I saw how I'm going to go for these outer circles. Now, the inner one is going to be significantly taller, which, yeah, we can go over here first. Uh, 1.12 still isn't a thing yet. Dinner Bone said it might be a couple more weeks on his Twitter. I started bringing this around the corners uh, to go on the big circle. And I was thinking, well, you know, I'm not sure about putting the windows in it, so I've left those out for now. Uh, we'll get to it eventually. And then over here on the other end, I've got a little bit of the wall in place over here. Uh leaving this part open, and I was thinking, you know, we could just leave this part open, too. And, unfortunately, I didn't realize this width here is actually a lot narrower than the one over here. And so the space between the wall and there isn't as big. I'm probably going to redo this section again, because I think what I want to do is make it like a more of a post. Or I might make that and that be the stone bricks, and have that be the whole thing. Because I think it reaches over far enough. And then, I'm not sure on this end. What I might do over here is take it all the way over here. 
so that way I can have it be not quite so far over. I don't know. Well, we'll have to see when we get to it. Um, like I said, I, I've been fairly busy. I've finally been able to do stuff. I've had time. I've had a bunch of stuff going on IRL, which has kept me from working on the server as much for the last few days. Also, for over here, um, before we get too far along, I was thinking that we could... At first I thought that would be a good... Ha well, actually, I originally had it like right there. But then I moved it up a bit, and I was thinking, yeah, that looks like a good height. And then I was started building this, and it's like, oh, wait, we need to go up even further. Which is interesting, because of something at the other end. But anyways, I think what we're going to do... What I'm going to do is go ahead and try to get the wall all the way around, which, uh, honestly, I'm not sure how much I'm going to be able to get done between episodes. Um, but, basically, and this is going to take a few minutes. Uh, basically, I think I want to push that up to on top there. It'll be even higher up, but that's okay, because... Uh, with the way the design is for the ceiling, I wanted it to be fairly noted. I want it to be something you can notice right away, but at the same time be fairly subtle. So just every now and then you look up and you see a villager rolling by. As he goes over here, which is the next thing that I've been working on. Over here. Lots and lots and lots. I started working on underneath. Well, firstly, ow. I drain, built a box out down here, drained the water out. And then I realized, after I started messing with that, I actually built it a little bit too low. And that was my fault. But, this is approximately what it'll look like um, when I'm done, except for the floor, obviously, it'll be different. Because I said before, one of the things I want to do is drop this down a few blocks because I don't want to have to climb up to them. Because I'd, I'd like my little villagers to be at normal walking level through the hallway, which is why we drained out the bottom here. But it should work. It'll fit nicely in there, and then I'm not quite sure on the disposal system yet. Haven't quite got that far along. Also, we don't actually have a... Uh, working breeder setup, and that is very annoying. I hope they fix that in the next update. Uh, it's not just my videos either. I've seen it in other people's videos. After installing the creator's update, as they move around in Minecraft in particular, you swing the mouse along, and then as you're moving along, it hitches and stops. And that that's a Windows thing. It's very annoying. Uh, yeah, there, there it goes again. Anyways... Over here, I started, well, in our previous, I think it was our previous episode, but we started laying out the floor. I went ahead and put the walls and the ceiling in. And I also put this in. I'm not 100% certain that this is set up correctly, but I do have it here. So, yeah, that leads us to what I was planning to do today. At least one of the things. There's uh, a couple of different things I had in mind. But, uh, I wasn't entirely sure how long it would take to get through all this. Oh, also, um, in the nether, it'll, it'll take a minute to get there, to show you guys. I did a little bit of work in the nether, not a whole lot, uh, since the last episode. I don't have all the tunnels set up yet, and if, if we can come back here. Uh, there should be a tunnel around here somewhere. Yeah. Uh, that takes you to the witch farm portal. Well, what will be the witch farm portal. And as I was bridging over there, there's another uh, another fortress right over there somewhere. Also, geez, almost 10 minutes into our episode and I haven't actually done anything. Uh, Sometimes you just don't have time to do all of the recording you'd like. I also hadn't had much time for playing either. Um, I still need to get some tunnels going over to the um, ice plains as well as one over to our uh, mesa. 
not important right now because we don't have 1.1.12 1 quite yet. I have the coordinates and everything. It's all written down in the uh, Season 2 document I have. I, I keep notepad documents on the computer with all the information. Uh, it'll have the seed number, the coordinates for things. I've got all the command block stuff in it. But over here, this lovely tunnel here, made with uh, Prismarine. All the way over here, and then down here is the room to the end portal. There's nothing in there at the moment. It's not decorated or anything. I basically plunked the portal down. <laughs> Um, to get the, uh, in order to, I've not actually, uh, gotten any ender pearls from an enderman this season, yet. I will when I get the ender ender set up, I haven't, haven't touched that yet, but basically what I did, and this is a different way of getting ender pearls if you've got a setup like I do, uh, use your villagers, um, Iron Farm, that's great for some of the villagers. Specifically, the guys with the black aprons, they trade iron for emeralds. So if you have an iron farm, that's a great way to get some emeralds. Also, they take coal, and if you do a lot of branch mining, you follow the TFC school of branch mining. You'll have diamonds as well you can trade for emeralds if you need them. Um... Yeah, back home. I was originally thinking for the nether hub columns, but now I'm thinking I've had the idea across my mind of perhaps doing something where we can fly. But I'll I'll show you real quick what I was talking about before we get to the next activity. Being able to fly is nice. Even if it's not creative. I would prefer creative mode flight, but that works too. But, yeah, these guys, the armorers, they take iron for emeralds, which this guy's currently locked out, but whatever. Toolsmith, coal, iron. Weaponsmith, coal, iron. Yeah, he does coal as well, but this isn't. His coal trade's not locked out yet. I haven't traded that much. Oh, yeah, and also there's the diamond trades for varying amounts. Uh, the common one seems to be like three. Yeah, three diamonds for an emerald. This guy is four. Three. Uh, three seems to be the most common one, but that's another way you can get it. I get emeralds. Anywho. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend trying to fly down the hallway and into the portal, because since it's uh, survival, I, I don't think that's going to work very well. Let's see. We got all that. I was going to make another lead. Well, a pair of leads since you make two at a time. I don't know why I've been collecting all these saddles either. Yeah, we got enough. For the moment, all of our temporary stuff. Everything is still set up over here because I'm waiting to get more... Waiting to get further along on the main floor so I can get the storage room going. I have been collecting all the gravel, though, because you need that for the concrete. Let's see. Nope. Not that box. Not that box. That box. Also, the little derpy little slime farm down there, it's been working really well. A few leads. All right. I should have gotten my uh, axe out. Well, before we get that out, let's put stuff away. And string over in here. Grab our axe. One cow. separate them so that way when I go to put the boats down they aren't all going to try to get in the same boat because you can't have two cows in one boat but that doesn't let me get in the boat too there we go all right now there we go one cow in a boat 
That's not gonna work. Two cows in the boats. Eat some potatoes. Nope, not there. There we go. There we go. Now all of our cows are in boats. And at some point, I'll be moving the sheep as well, just not right now. For now, they live in a little hole. All right. I think I want to take these guys right over to the uh, where the cow cooker goes. Well, it's not really a cooker, is it? Uh, it's just a max density cramming farm. Uh, the other thing, too, I believe butchers take raw beef in addition to the raw pork chops and raw chicken. And so that'd be good for trading as well. And since one of the emphasis is emphases uh, this season is on trading and villagers, uh, that seems like a good idea. I don't believe they take raw mutton, though. So for the sheep, I'm going to have to come up with a different thing. I'm actually not sure where to put the sheep, either. Tell the truth. Alright. Now, will you get out of the boat? Onto the land or into the water? Oh. Oh. Here comes the fun part. I don't know how to get this guy in there. <laughs> Oops. Come on. Come on, Bessie. Here comes some fun. Don't worry. It'll, it'll be nice and cozy in there. No. No. Stupid cow. Well, this will be a lot harder than I was thinking it would be, but that's okay. Point is, we got a cow over here. Now, the tricky part is going to be getting them in there, which I'll get done between episodes. In the meantime, I think we're running a little long on time here. Well, longer than we have. In any of it, I do hope you enjoyed. Even though we didn't didn't do much... I do hope you enjoy these episodes anyways. At some point, I need to get at least a temporary farm going for that. Um, if you did enjoy, do be sure to hit that like button. And if you really enjoyed this and you want to see more, and you're excited to see where we go with this, then do be sure to subscribe, and you can click on my little Minecraft guy's face on the screen to subscribe. And you can also check out some of the other videos of mine as well. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.